they end up with long-term uh, issues as a result of injury. So we wanted to give guys that are trying to just do a little bit of prehab work, do work after practice to make sure that they're avoiding and reducing that injury risk. And so everything that we see in here, the main goal is to reduce muscle soreness. We'll start over here with our infrared cocoon pods. These are dry heat saunas that uh, expose athletes to infrared light. That infrared light is uh, meant to improve blood flow, oxygen transfer, and stimulate at the cellular level tissue repair and um, wound healing. And then the bottom part, the bed part, is a, it provides a vibrational massage to the student athlete. We actually just started working with some essential oils there too to get a little aromatherapy going uh, with those. Right here, uh, these uh, tables provided by Normatec sustain and support our uh, Normatec sleeves. These are uh, compressive massage uh, sleeves that you see here for legs. We have them for hips and we also have them for arms and shoulders. Really meant to um, reduce that muscle soreness after practice, after workout, after games. You'll see a lot of guys using these. Yeah, you know, after, we think Brandon's here from Norma Tech, so he can go in detail. Like a lot of schools use this and he can probably dive more into it after finishing. Mm -hmm. uh, we also brought in these uh, massage chairs. And let me tell you, do not leave here without trying these. Uh, these are something that exposes a uh, student athlete to full body massage from the feet, calves, arms, hands, uh, back, uh, and neck. It um, puts athletes in a zero G state uh, or position, um, and it, it, it provides a lot of different types of massage, uh, as well as a very similar compressive uh, technique uh, to uh, the Normatec sleeves. And then finally, we're not gonna go in there right now because one of our athletes just jumped in. This is our float pod, uh, our sensory deprivation tank. This is 1,200 pounds of Epsom salt in a, a pool of water that is heated to skin temperature and it removes the student athlete from light, sound, and, <coughs> and realistic or uh, um, practically the force of gravity. So it allows for full mental recovery from all the stresses the student athlete experiences by giving them an environment in which to disengage, and become more aware. And then also physically, it has benefits from a, a muscle soreness perspective with the Epsom salt, as well as just unburdening the student athlete from kind of all of that uh, weight that is normally uh, uh, dragging them down. Just kind of gives them a full opportunity to lay on their back and fully release in that uh, state. So that's a sensory deprivation a pot. Alex, have you seen usage with that pretty much across the board, or has it been more popular with some of the athletes than others? Uh, we, we've actually we've seen we've seen usage across the board, but we would skew to some of our older guys. It opened last Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Soft opening, mm -hmm. and um, we're gonna get out the intern because I think it's gonna be every night about ten o'clock. Yeah, just trying to keep guys. A lot supported. of the guys are. I got to going to Greenville to do it already, and so that's probably pretty much constant. I can't, but Christian jumped in probably like five minutes before y'all got here, and a lot of the D line has used it multiple times. Um, it's funny to see, like I said, a lot of the older guys who are, um, and this is not for everybody. This is over and beyond the training room. You're always going to have every team's going to have those overachievers, and this is something. This is next level for those guys who are really serious about it. And tell them about in about three months. Tell them about the um, crowd therapy. Um, that's the last thing we got to buy um, that goes in right there, and that's, I'll let him explain that. Yeah, so crowd therapy exposing athletes to um, se uh, several dozens of degrees below the freezing um, using uh, uh, basically a refrigerate, uh, a, it's a giant refrigerator that gets down to negative 110 degrees, um, and guys are in it for three minutes, and it quickly uh, cools them, similar to the cold tub, but instead of going into a cold tub for 20 minutes, kind of losing that ability to breathe a little bit, getting the wind sucked out of you, you get in there for three minutes, in and out real quick, has a lot of the same uh, therapeutic events. So for guys that are running a class after a workout and they don't have the time to sit in the cold tub, this gives them an opportunity to still get that uh, physical benefit.